this is Laura GB and in this Power BI video we're going to look at the new diagram view in Dataflows. So let's start in our workspace and we're going to click on our Dataflow and then we're going to click on Edit Entities. We then go and click on the View ribbon and we click on the Diagram View button. And there we are, we get a diagram of all of our entity relationships and how they all dependencies upon each other. So the blue entities, so people, biscuits, etc., are the ones where load is enabled and the grey ones, biscuit source data and likes and are not loaded. And also we can see we have two parameters, start date and end date. If we move our mouse pointer to over the number of steps, up pops a list showing us all the steps of that query. When we select an entity, it appears in the bottom here, takes a moment to load. And if we click on the highlight related queries, we can see all the queries that are related get a color gray or blue highlighting those okay and then click it and that gets turned off if we click on the double headed arrow it expands the query up so we can see all the steps and if we click on it it appears in the bottom range down here if i so i'm going to pick age range column down the bottom here and then i'm going to click on the plus now I want to sort that column. So search commands, I can type in sort. And there we are, we get sort ascending or descending. So let's go for sort ascending. And it has added in a step with an icon that's related to it. And if you hover over it, you can see the action and the name of it. Okay. If we hover over add column here, we can see that's an add column step, but it's been renamed to calc age range. It's also got a cog wheel so that we could click onto that cog wheel to edit the step. If you want to change what's being shown underneath each step, under the diagram view button, we can do show step names. And there we are, we get the renamed versions. Or we can go back to the labels. A couple of points about the view of how things are laid out on here. There are some buttons in the bottom right hand corner here where we can fit to view, which resizes everything. We can make it full screen or turn it off from full screen. We can also collapse all the queries or expand all the queries. So there's a number of things to manage the view down there. That was the new diagram view in Dataflows. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.